What's going on YouTube? This is Ricky J. Welcome to episode 2 of our season 3 Royal Rumble series. Holy cow man, today guys we're going to be featuring some of the greatest mass wrestlers. And I want to tell you, fresh off of my victory in my last video, I'm going to be just chilling in the booth baby. Just commentating and letting the AI sort things out man. I always say this, the winner of this rumble is going to punch their ticket to the season 3 champions rumble where we are going to put all of the winners and the champion from season 2 Thanos inside the ring and we're going to crown the ultimate champion. Can't wait for that. So let's see what happens. Thank you so much for the support. Here we go, episode 2. Everybody, it's randomized. We don't know who's coming in, but coming in at 1 is the Hurricane. Who would have thought that superheroes would be entering this ring masked? And we're doing only masked wrestlers. So we're not doing like superheroes and all that. We're not opening that uh, can of worms, so to speak. But the Hurricane's leading off at one. And you know what's kind of unfortunate? I really like the Hurricane. Um, he made his return, didn't he? Back in 2021's Royal Rumble. And oh, from <laughs> what I remember, I think he came in in the in the twenties, and then he got eliminated by Big E and Bobby Lashley. But he's coming in at one. We've never seen somebody go coast to coast, enter in at one, and stay standing right to the end and get their hand raised. Let's see if the Hurricane could flip the script and get a victory. That would be unbelievable. So let's see who he's going to face to kick off this masked rumble. And thank you so much for all the ideas. I see all of your comments. And I really appreciate you guys. Here we go, Halloween Havoc. And who is this big boy? Who is this? It is. Who is that? It just says Superstar. That's the masked Superstar. Super Machine. And um, this is one of the members of the Machines. And I got to tell you. Holy smoke, spoiler alert, we're not going to see all the members. Um, there's Super Machine, there was Big Machine, Giant Machine, which was Andre the Giant, Hulk Machine, which is Hulk Hogan. They also had Piper Machine, Animal Machine, and Crusher Machine. And this was Lou Albano's team here, but we are going to see right here, right now. This is Axe. Remember Axe? The mass superstar, one of the members of the machines man here we go this is so cool to see all these mask guys coming in well we haven't seen them all yet but i could just foresee it being so cool but seeing him coming in taking his time is already a treat so here we go and again the mass superstar is going to have that strength advantage but hurricane's gonna have that speed advantage and he's showcasing it right away on that first move right away going on him and he's got to do that. Here we go. I love this. When the, oh, oh, no. Take it to the skies. And a great job by the Mass Superstar. Putting those knees right up there. Stifling that splash. Who's coming in now? It's Jumping Jim Brunzel. And this is one of the members of the Killer Bees. And um, you know what's so funny? This summer I was reading Bret Hart's book. And he was saying one of the greatest matches he ever took part in was in a Saturday Night Main Event against the Killer Bees. And he calls the Killer Bees the most underrated tag team of all time. As here we go as Brunzel going after the mass Superstar and Hurricane ambushing Brunzel. Oh, a nice elbow by the Hurricane and the mass Superstar now trying to go after him. But Hurricane doesn't like it. Hurricane doesn't like it. Beautiful. Beautiful move right there. And here comes Sin Cara. And I love this guy. This guy had just fantastic moves using those ropes to just create so much aerial attacks, brother. And he's coming in early. And Hurricane with those sloppy punches. Throwing them around. And you got Brunzel and the mass Superstar. Brunzel's got to be careful here, in my opinion. Don't stand in close quarters against the mass Superstar. It's going to be bad news as he hits him up with the right hand and an uppercut. And, and another one. But again, the mass Superstar doesn't feel like it's doing anything. And here comes B. Brian Blair. How crazy is this? B. Brian Blair. The second half of the Killer Bees. And who is he going to go after? He's going after Hurricane. He's going after Hurricane. And it's crazy, man. It's going to be really hard to tell the two apart. But I think 
B. Brian Blair has got the stash. Yes, he does. So that's how we're going to see this here. A Sin Cara in a slap fest against the masked superstar. Oh, a nice move by Blair. And how about this? Brunzel looks to be knocked out. Here comes Psychosis at six. Uh oh. Are we going to see an elimination? Sin Cara. Oh, he hesitated. He hesitated. And oh, is he going to do it? Oh, flips him over. And are we going to see Hurricane out? Big shot. There's one. And there's another. The Hurricane's done. What a move. And Psychosis is done. The bees are buzzing around as Brunzel and Blair. Look at this. They're actually doing it in unison, aren't they? And now the Masters are cleaning house. Oh, I, was gonna th I thought he was going to clean house there. Throwing him out. Here comes Kalisto at seven. And what's Brunzel doing? Brunzel's just hesitating. There he goes with one right hand. Now he's... What is he doing? He's looking at his tag team partner. Oh, no. Oh, there goes the mass superstar. What a move by Kalisto. But I'm telling you, dealing with these killer bees, you got to be so careful. And I loved um, watching them wrestle back in the day because they would put on their mask and you don't know who's who. The referee wouldn't know and then they would do like illegal tags, illegal pins. It was fantastic to watch. But they are taking over this rumble. Who would have thought? Here's Rey Mysterio coming in early. And oh no, we're seeing the tag team go at it. Let's see if Mysterio can break this up. He does. Smart move by Rey and now he's going after the killer bees. And um, yeah, I'm a big uh, Rey Mysterio fan. It's unfortunate that he's coming in this early, but who knows? Who knows? Maybe he's going to stay in for a long time. Are we going to see a sharpshooter here? Are we going to see a sharpshooter? Let's hear we go, man. Sin Cara and Kalisto fighting it out. And how about that? Brunzel, like, he tapped him on the shoulder. Here comes Luchasaurus. Luchasaurus coming in at nine. And Mysterio seems to be out of it here. He seems to be out of it. And um, look at this. Look at this. Blair. Oh, nice reversal there. But Blair, man, he got up. And now he's back at it looking to take in some action here. And Luchasaurus and Sin Cara are fighting it out. They are trying, man. And Kalisto moving around. Going after Sin Cara. Here comes Grand Metalik. And oh no, what are the bees has done? And that's Brunzel. What a move by Mysterio. And here comes Grand Metalik going right after one of the bees. And I, I really love this uh, Luchasaurus model here. Does he look great, man? He looks great. And oh no, are we going to see an elimination? No way. But what a move. What a kick there by Luchasaurus on Rey Mysterio. And Kalisto and Sin Cara are fighting it out. Is Kalisto going to be done? Pentagon Jr. Oh no, Kalisto's done. Kalisto's got done there. What a move by Sin Cara. And now, <laughs> how about this? Pentagon Jr. doesn't know what to, what to do here. But I'm telling you, Sin Cara... He is amazing, man. You got to be careful against him. And how about this? This is nuts. Grand Metalik. Holy cow. He's just... He's, oh, what a move. By the bees, baby. What a move by Brunzel. A slapjack coming in at 12. That was fantastic. Oh, no. Rey Mysterio. He's going to be... He's eliminated both of the bees. Didn't he? Didn't he eliminate... B. Brian Blair, and now he's eliminated jumping Jim Brunzel. I cannot believe that just happened. But the Killer Bees, man, I really feel like they made their mark inside this rumble. Uh-oh, are we going to see Rey Mysterio, the fan favorite? Slapjack looking to do something crazy. Looking to do, oh no! Sikara's done! Unbelievable! It's Tiger Mask. Don't call him Tiger King coming in at 13. And I can't believe how Luchasaurus, how big he is. This tiger mask, look at this guy. <laughs> Rolling in. Uh, lucky number 13. Uh-oh. Oh, nice move by Rey Mysterio. Oh, here we go, brother. Oh, unbelievable. It, you know, it's so crazy that if there's some traffic inside this ring, 
you know, you, it's hard to detour. And poor Rey Mysterio just couldn't land. The good old 619 and La Parca coming in at 14. La Parca. Let's see what La Parca could do. He's going right after Rey Mysterio. Luchasaurus and the, and the Tiger Mask coming in. Battling it out. Nice suplex by Luchasaurus. Slapjack and Metalik. Oh, a nice clothesline by Slapjack. Don't call him Jason. <laughs> and La Parca could be in some trouble here. But, oh, nice job. Oh, he reverses it. Oh, both guys are trying to do the same thing. How about this? Wow, both guys are stubbing Mysterio and La Parca. Here comes Dragon Lee. Wow. Any relation to Bruce Lee? How about this? Dragon Lee rolling in. Showing his athleticism. But yeah, that was funny. Rey Mysterio and La Parca were both stubborn, both wanting to land that roundhouse kick to the body. That's a nice move by Dragon Lee on Luchasaurus. And let's see what happens here. Oh, nice move by Tiger Mask on Metalik. And I like what Slapjack's doing. He's chilling, looking for his opportunities. And big boot to the face. Big boot to the face. Who's coming in now? Oh, no, it's Kane at 16. Kane's rolling in at 16, pretty much right in the middle. What's Tiger Mask doing? Look at that move. And he landed it on Luchasaurus. And let's see how Kane does. He's going right after Rey Mysterio. One of the toughest guys in this in this ring right now. But nice move by Kane. Kane's just got to bulldoze his way through. Nice move by Slapjack staying in. He's an overall only at a 71 in this game. And he's staying in it here. As Kane going after Metalik. You got Slapjack and Tiger Mask fighting it out. La Parca and Dragon Lee. Luchasaurus and Rey Mysterio. Oh, nice reversal by the big man. Luchasaurus, oh, is he gonna splash him? No, he's driving that elbow, digging it right in there. There's one, oh, is he, oh I thought he was going for a second one. I thought he was going for a second one. Oh, right to the face on Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio could be in some trouble here. Oh, oh, Tiger Mask looking to pump up the crowd at the wrong point. And Slapjack, oh, oh, Luchasaurus, oh, nice job there. But Slapjack is looking really good here. And again, I've said this before, it doesn't matter about your overall rating in this game. Some guys could be on, and they could perform at a, at a low rate. Oh no, Madalek is done. What a move by La Parca. And now La Parca, oh man, oh. He's right on the receiving end of that big shot by Kane. And then Kane just missed on dropping the leg. And here's Tiger Mask, Dragon Lee with a beautiful counter elbow. Oh, a nice move there. Wow, I love that move. Let me know, what's that move called again? Holy smokes. Driving those knees right to the face. Don't tell me the... Oh, a nice drop by Tiger Mask. And how about this? La Parca doing his thing. And again, those the tinier wrestlers just always seem to have a tough time inside these rumbles. We've seen it time and time again. Wow, big slam there. Kane showcasing his skills. And now he's going after La Parca. What a move by Luchasaurus. And how fearless. Here comes... Oh, how fearless. This Tiger Mask is Lince Dorado coming in at a sweet 17. I should say, man, 17, anything north of 17 is good because, you know, it's more than half, right? The easy math. Oh, that's the new, don't call it sweet 16, call it sweet 17. But this is good, though, for Dorado. And now, let's see what happens here. But this matchup here with Mysterio and Luchasaurus is so cool, man, so interesting. They continue to lock horns here. Oh, is this Ray? Oh, what strength by Mysterio. And Luchasaurus, he did some really good things inside this ring. But uh, there's only one winner, and out he went. Unbelievable. And how about this? Speaking of out, he went. What a move. Oh, my goodness. Dorado's out. Are we going to see Kane out of there? Kane's looking to hang on here. How about this? Tiger Mask is done. Quick eliminations. And I love the quick eliminations. Uh-oh. Rey Mysterio, if he's smart, he's going to help Dragon Lee take out Kane. But Kane just shrugs him off. Holy smokes, shrugs him off like bad dandruff on the shoulder, brother. <laughs> he's like, no way. You're not going to eliminate me. And now Kane back on his offensive ways. Going right after La Parca. And now Kane noticing. Here comes Kendo Nagasaki. Oh, I love that rake to the back. 
And I remember doing that to my brother once, and holy smokes, he got me back more ways than one. Um, and then in, after, he's like, when you do it, just use your... Oh, no, there goes Slapjack. He goes, don't use your nails. Just use the paws of your fingers, you know, like the pads of your fingers. That's it. Because um, when you do an actual rate to the back, it hurts. And, uh, yeah, very well executed there by Kane. And now we're moving on as Dragon Lee and Nagasaki are trying to fight it out. Rey Mysterio putting together a really solid performance. Oh, oh, here comes Mankind at 19. Mankind. Mick Foley. Let's see what he does here. Oh, he's just chilling out. He should go after Nagasaki. It's going to really help him out. But no, decides to go after Rey Mysterio. Wow, it almost looked like he got tied in the, in the middle there with Kane and Nagasaki, but he managed to <laughs> go right through them. And now we're going to see Dragon Lee. Dragon Lee is done. La Parka. How great has La Parka been here? And now... Going with the shots. Here comes Justin Thunder Liger. Justin Thunder Liger. Let's see how Liger does at 20. Wow. It's, it's really just so neat seeing all these masks inside this ring all at once. What a really cool idea. Thank you all so much, man, for this idea. This wasn't my own. Oh, a big choke slam. Oh, and drives the leg. Mysterio could be done here. To be on the receiving end of that is too much. Oh, Nagasaki's out. La Parka stays in. And Mankind hasn't even broken a sweat. Here comes Mil Mascaris. And um, I got to tell you, man, <laughs> um, hopefully I'm pronouncing all the names right. And I apologize if I'm not. And look at this. Mascaris. He's a big boy too, isn't he? He is a big boy. Let's see if he could do some damage here inside this rumble. Who's he going to go after? Kane looking to lock horns with him. Oh, is he? Oh, a nice reversal by Kane. And now he's going to give him a power slam of his own. Kane just needs room. Look out, boys. Right into the center of the ring. And how about this? Mankind looking for the elimination. Here comes Bandito at 22. Is he going to get it? Doesn't get it. And Laparca on the offensive end of Rey Mysterio as Bandito's in there. Wow, what a what a great move, man. These guys are pulling off some unreal moves as Kane could be in some trouble here. Oh man, I'm nervous for Kane. Are we gonna see the end of him? He's running forward, he's done! The big man is done! The big man is done, Mil Mascaras. Unbelievable, and it's time! It's Vader time, rolling in at 23. What a great number here for Vader, the big man. And let's see if Vader can utilize that strength. There he goes right away, utilizing that strength. And he's going after everybody. He's going after everyone. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, going after the who's who of guys. Choke slam, Liger is in trouble. Oh, speaking of in trouble. Oh my gosh. Muscaris is out of there. And Liger could be done too. Mankind as well. I'm telling you, La Parca, we're going to do an MVP rumble. There he goes. We're going to do an MVP rumble. And La Parca may be in it. And Liger is out of there. Phoenix is coming in at 24. Crazy, crazy action. Bendito on the receiving end of a kick by Rey Mysterio. As here we go, Phoenix. And nice job by Mysterio. Wow, shout out to Eddie Guerrero. Look at this, give me a third, brother. Give me a third. He's going for it. Welcome to the Rumble, baby. Welcome to the Rumble, Phoenix. But how about this, man? La Parca again. Going high above. And uh oh, no way, no way. Phoenix came and Rey Mysterio's like, you're not welcome. And out he went. And the Fiend coming in at 25. The Fiend coming in at 25. Let's see this guy. Oh boy, everybody's got to be careful. Everybody's got to run. How about that matchup? <laughs> We've seen them lock horns before. <laughs> oh, let's see it, brother. Let's see it. <laughs> Mankind, he remembers it. He's going for it. Nice job by Mankind. And how about this matchup here on the left side of your screen? Bendito and Rey Mysterio. La Parca is just on fire, man. And here comes the question mark. 
the question mark at 26 as I can't believe we're almost nearing the end of these entries and we've seen some crazy action in episode 2 and La Parca man it, I'm becoming a, a huge fan of this guy let's see if he can continue things I don't want to give him too many uh, compliments because I usually jinx these virtual wrestlers as the fiend going after the big man Vader but La Parca stopped that kind of exchange uh oh oh no was that Bandito the fiend with a great move and now he stole some mitt oh no oh no there goes Rey Mysterio oh no I was looking for that oh Nacho Libre Nacho Libre <laughs> I forgot that Nacho Libre is in there but what a crazy exchange that was a lot of action the fiend was stealing the wrestlers Rey Mysterio got eliminated and Nacho Libre rolled into this ring and he's getting manhandled right here by Mankind. The question mark and The Fiend. The Fiend could be in some trouble here. Uh-oh, The Fiend could be in some trouble. La Parca, man, just seems to be overwhelmed. Uh-oh, Nacho Libre! What are you doing? What are you doing, Jack Black? What are you doing? Uh, Ultimo Dragon at 28, but Nacho Libre came in at the perfect time he had everything going for him but what he didn't have going for him was that very aggressive move on mankind and mankind man he's just a sneaky guy man high IQ wrestler and he knew what was going on and Nacho Libre was done as here we go Ultimo Dragon nice move right on you can tell by my voice that I'm disappointed that Nacho Libre didn't at least go deep into the finals and Vader could be in some trouble. Nice job by Vader. The Fiend is done. Evil Uno at 29. And the question mark. He's a beast, man. He is a beast. And let's see how La Parca can do here. Oh, he's going after him. Oh, nice job by La Parca with those elbows. He's got to be careful. Doesn't decide to charge forward. Oh, Ultimo Dragon is. I can't see. He's still in it. He's still in it. Here's the final entry. The final entry. Who is going to be coming in at 30 to finish off this mass rumble? It's the Blue Blazer, Owen Hart. And let's see how the Blue Blazer does. Rolling in at 30. And he's going right after the top dog, the question mark. Oh, nice job by the question mark. And takes out the left leg of the Blazer. And Evil Uno may be in some trouble. La Parca may help out. Nice job by La Parca and Mankind working together. But wow, Evil Uno says no way, brother. <laughs> I haven't said that <laughs> this whole video. But that was a great job by Evil Uno. And I'm telling you, the Blue Blazers having a tough time against these bigger opponents here. And are we going to see Mankind out of there? Vader picking him up. Oh, we got two eliminations. Evil Uno's done. Ultimo Dragon's done. Mankind is done. And look at this. We're in the final four. And La Parca is still in it. I can't believe this guy. He's still in it. But Vader is overwhelming him. And speaking of getting overwhelmed, the Blue Blazer just can't seem to muster an offensive attack here since he's arrived. You know he's got heart, but how much can he take? And how much can La Parca take? As in the driver's seat, it's got to be the question mark and Vader. But now they're both going at it and, uh-oh, don't tell me. Oh no, the Blue Blazer could be in some trouble. La Parca's going right after him. He's going right after him. Owen's hanging on through that top rope. He's hanging on with two hands. Nice slam by Vader. Oh, but he stays alive. The Blue Blazer staying alive. Just a, it was unfortunate for him. A lot of action when he came in here. And now look at them. Both of them. La Parca and the Blue Blazer. Kind of just stopped those two exchanging there. Vader and the question mark. And La Parca is waiting. He's got the laser, laser vision on the question mark. Oh, he decides to abort mission. And attack the legs. Is this the right move? But La Parca, nice move right there. I used to use that move <laughs> back when I was younger. <laughs> Don't try wrestling at home, by the way. 
Oh, it's bad news. You know the saying, don't try this at home. I agree with them. Don't do it, brother. But here we go. Vader now back with Lock and Horns with the question mark. The blue blazer may be in a heap of trouble here. He may be in some trouble. La Parca, it seems like he's been in there for an eternity. As the blue blazer using his upper body strength. There he goes with that right hand. Just to say, no way, brother. I ain't going out. But look at Laparka. Laparka is looking for a, a, a turnbuckle to climb. He's looking to utilize his forte here. But he just can't seem to get in there. And now Laparka has taken a much needed breather. And Vader notices it. And he's just going right after him. With that big boot to the chest. And now, could Laparka be out of there? The Cinderella story could be ending on a bad note. La Parca's hanging on. He's shaking his head. La Parca's done. Oh, that's too bad, man. He was in there forever. And I'm just a huge fan of him. And look at this double team. Vader and the Blue Blazer. Oh, no. But then he decided to end that friendship right away. As we are in the final three. And Owen with that right hand. And let's see. Oh, no. There goes Vader. Oh, Vader. Oh, nice reversal by the Blazer. And the question mark, stifling the attack of the Blue Blazer. And now, look at this triangle right here. Both guys looking for the early advantage. Oh, and Vader with that right hand. Just seems like the, the Vader right hands just surprise guys here. That power is, just seems to be too much. And now Vader doesn't like it. That the question mark is just chilling out, hyping up the fans. And how about Vader? He seems to be in such control. Vader just seems to be in complete control. If I'm the Blue Blazers, uh, yeah, there you go. If I'm in his corner, I would be yelling, just relax. And he's, oh, oh, what are you doing? Never turn your back on your opponent. Oh, no. Oh, no. And Vader looking to act here. Oh, slams him right down. Let's see if the question mark will go after Vader. He does. He does. But Vader just seems to have the advantage on both of these guys. They're just trying to go after him. Nice. I like what the Blue Blazers doing. A little Stu Hart wrestling, just taking him down, going for a joint, going, <laughs> a joint lock, that's what I meant. But going for those joint locks and looking to just stifle his attacks, looking to just keep him down on the mat. And um, man, he did an all right job there. Uh, the Blue Blazers gotta be careful. Uh oh, look at this, the question mark. What's, it looks like Vader's crying, man. You can see his facial expression. Wow, and you know it's another thing? A lot of things are happening here that Owen, the Blue Blazer, kind of um, was in the way as Vader was looking to eliminate the question mark here. And now Vader could be in some trouble. Oh, nice move. And Vader, finally we're seeing Vader vulnerable here. Oh, nice circle to the right. Or was that to the left? Oh, nice move by the question mark. And now Vader is in some trouble and the blue blazer rolling onto his feet but he seems to be a little concussed though look at him shaking his head doesn't know what's going on but he's nice punch right there by the blue blazer a little neck breaker great job and the question mark could be in some trouble here is the blue blazer going to take his chances is he going to charge forward oh he takes his chances rolls the dice and gets it and then he goes with a slap Vader didn't like it, but then a shot to the Hulkamaniacs, then a right hand and another, followed by a left, and then a right, and then another right. Blue Blazer is running on pure adrenaline here. Vader is absolutely fuming here. He's so angry. Oh no, power bomb. Wow, is he going off that top rope? This is not, what? Have you ever seen Vader do this? This is not part of his arsenal. Oh, and that's why. <laughs> that is so why, man. He is fighting out of his skill set there and decided to go off that top rope. And this could be the end here. This could be the end. And that would be the turning point of this match. Vader. Who did he think he was? Rey Mysterio going off that top rope. Macho Man Randy Savage. But it seems like he's kind of come to a census here. Is he going to put him up? Yes, he is. Hoisting him up. Nice move by the blazer I'm telling you he's running on fumes he's running on fumes and Vader could be oh nice job great job with that knee right to the stomach 
And is he going to land it? Oh, I'm telling you, how good has the Blue Blazer been after getting clocked with a bunch of shots? Continuing to stay in here and competing. And now is he... Oh, it almost looked like he was going to get a, a chance to get that elimination. But Vader, he is exhausted. But he's not done yet. Uh-oh, is this going to be it? The Blue Blazer has been in there for quite some time. Oh, no, he's getting flipped over. It's done. Vader has won the masked rumble and look at that facial expression and he almost botched it man by trying to go off that top rope but he has punched his ticket to the champions rumble season three he's going to be joining me inside the ring <laughs> we're the only two winners this season just started man but what a crazy matchup the blue blazer if you're wondering he will be in the finalist rumble we're gonna take the guys that got right to the finals and came up short we're gonna put them in one last try and see if they could punch their ticket to the champions rumble he'll be in there again we'll also see the hurricane again since he came in at one at some point wow what a matchup that was hopefully you guys enjoyed this one i'll catch you next time this is ricky j love you man take care